Huh? We already, oh, we already did this answer, didn't we? Yeah. How about we do this I'm one? Just saying, like, no, you're like, right, you're right. I didn't even think about it. I just, I, I, you're you right, you're that. right. I just made up the problem. I didn't even think about it. Oh um, how about let's convert this one? 5 pi over 4, okay? Um, radians, 2 degrees. So remember, guys, when we're talking about radians and degrees, there's a couple things you guys remember. You remember that a straight angle is 180 degrees. Yes. Right? But now, since we're bringing in this unit circle stuff we're talking about, we talked about also going all the way around is the same thing as pi, right? Halfway around is 180 degrees, but it's also equal to pi, right? Remember when we were talking about radians? No? Okay. Halfway around, 180 degrees is the same thing as pi. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of this pi. So remember, again, we'll talk about this again for you um, uh, for uh, you physics and chemistry people. So we have 5 pi over 4. Okay, what we have is radians. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a ratio, a comparison between the two. So I'm going to say 180 degrees is the same thing as pi radians. Right? And pretty much essentially from the previous problem, I just flipped it, I just changed it. But it's still, it's still the, the ratio is still equivalent, right? Right. Because 180 is equal to, you know, they're equal pi, it's that ratio. But then what you'll notice is my radians are going to be canceled out, my pi's will cancel out, and then all I have to do is do this uh, multiplication. Oh. So what you guys do is, if I have, so I take 5 pi over 4, and I multiply it by 180 divided by pi. So when you want to find converting radians to degrees, you multiply by the ratio of 180 over pi. Right? And remember, think about this. You want to get rid of pi's, right? We want a degree. So we don't want a degree in terms of pi. So we're going to have our pi on the bottom. These cancel out. I'm left with 5 times 180 divided by 4. And I get 225. That's my answer. So my answer is 225 degrees. I thought it was No? Question? Can't you just do 4 times, or 180 divided by 4, that equals 45, and you get 45 times 5, and you get 225. I'll explain that answer in a second. But everybody goes with that? 